This display shows the Sims Climate Digest for June 2014, featuring highlights from the global analysis product issued each month by NOAA's National Climatic Data Center. The Climate Digest conveys a visual climate brief of recent conditions worldwide. June 2014 average land and ocean temperature was the warmest June since records began in 1880. The oceans accounted for most of the observed warmth, with global sea surface temperatures ranking as the highest ever recorded. On land, Northern Hemisphere land surface temperature ranked 6th highest, and the Southern Hemisphere land surface temperature was the 5th highest for June. More specifically, New Zealand had its warmest June since national records began. Record warmth was also noted across Central Africa and parts of Europe. The United Kingdom and France both experienced a top 10 warm June. In the United States, the main climate story for June was the uneven distribution of rainfall. While the upper Midwest and northern plains experienced flooding due to record or near record precipitation, drought conditions deteriorated across parts of the West. Nationally average precipitation indicated that June 2014 was the sixth wettest since records began in 1895. However, the U.S. Drought Monitor reports that 34% of the contiguous United States was in a drought during June 2014. Precipitation anomalies during June varied significantly around the world. For example, both India and Australia experienced rainfall deficits, while the state of Alaska had its second wettest June on record. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from the average. Red portions of the map depict regions that experienced above average warmth, blue portions of the map indicate below average temperatures, and white indicates near average conditions. This real-time dataset shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, while red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, there is a 70% chance that El Nino conditions will develop yet this summer, and an 80% chance that it will develop during the fall and winter. This real-time data set collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The June sea ice extent for the Arctic was the sixth smallest June sea ice extent since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move to the Antarctic and discover that its sea ice extent was 9.6% above the 1981 to 2010 average, the largest June sea ice extent on record. And that's your June 2014 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.